Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, June 21st, 2023. We get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings, talk about strategies, tips, techniques, share success stories, and support each of you. We have previously kind of pre-announced, we've discussed, we, we've alerted you of a relationship that we formed with a nonprofit micro lender, and that is now in force. And so we're going to talk about some credit builder loans that are available as of today. So before soft launch, introducing, getting feedback, now we're live. So let's dig into this because these can make a significant difference to our clients. So uh, credit builder loans now available through an alliance with nonprofit micro lender. We have three types of credit builder loans available. We have a $2,500, a $10,000, and a $100,000. We're going to talk about each of these. Now, what's true in all cases, guaranteed approval, no minimum credit scores. So we were able to get the nonprofit micro lender to make, well, we'll, we'll say uh, adjustments or considerations to their normal underwriting. So any of our clients have guaranteed approval on all three of these. That's wonderful. So guaranteed approval, no minimum credit scores. These are great credit improvement strategies for clients who are either looking for more positive credit and or have high revolving utilization. I was talking to a client yesterday. No, I'm sorry, Monday. He's uh, in the Northeast. And he's got a, a, a decent credit score, but his revolving utilization is too high and it's making him look too risky to get approved. Well, just imagine adding a $100,000 revolving trade line to that. It's going to dilute down his revolving utilization, bring his score up, but but really improve the profile. So this is a, a big deal. Uh, as we mentioned, no minimum credit score is not even a credit check. So there won't be any hard inquiries. Very simple application. We know that people want fast, simple, and easy. And so the application for all three of these simple one-page app. Reports on credit is a new primary trade line. 0% interest, and that was another very important consideration. A lot of times people that are in the, the credit rebuilding phase of their life often incur, well, they often get a lot of turndowns, but often they're, they're seeing high interest rates, and we want to avoid that. So all three of the credit builder loans have 0% interest. Now, if you're astute at all financially, you realize, frankly, this is a subsidy because in our environment, our, our economic environment, prime interest rate is not zero. It's actually closer to 10%. So technically, we're subsidizing the loans of every one of these participants because they're getting 0% interest, but the market rate is much above that. But we're, we're covering that shortfall. Monthly payments. So yeah, this is not a daily payment. This is not a weekly payment, not like an MCA, monthly payments. And uh, this team is really providing great customer service. So those are the highlights. Now let's dig into each of these three offerings so we can talk about applicability, and then we'll open it up for your questions. So the primary uses. So when we put together the $2,500 credit builder loan, it was designed primarily for our clients who have enrolled in access to capital. They didn't get any normal or traditional cash funding to finance their refundable deposit. So the $2,500 credit builder loan really designed for that audience. So they've enrolled in access to capital, Without any hard inquiries, we took them out to our consortium of lenders. We have over 40, four zero over 40. And if they didn't receive any cash funding offers, then we can offer them the $2,500 credit builder loan. 
What is it used for then? Well, if they've enrolled in access to capital, we know that there is a $2,500 refundable deposit. That refundable deposit is what's needed for us to build the loan package, the business plan, the financial projections, and so forth. So in this case, the $2,500 credit builder loan is covering that refundable deposit, which is, of course, refunded back to the participant after they complete at least $100,000 capital raise. So in summary, the first use of it is to help access to capital clients cover the refundable deposit. Make sense? But you're paid off this, right? All of you that are small business consultants, you are paid a performance, you're, you're paid off the performance fee, you're paid three points. So if the client gets this, absolutely, you get paid. Now let's talk about the second primary use. So we talked about the $2,500 credit builder loan. Now we're gonna talk about the $10,000 credit builder loan. It's typically used for purchasing the collateral support program. Well, what is that? Well, if you've been around a while, you've been part of other trainings. And so you know that when we're helping a client become credible for funding, we're looking at their three C's, their credit, their collateral, and their capacity. And to no surprise, many clients have a collateral shortfall. So in other words, the amount of money that they want to borrow, they don't have enough collateral to pledge, and therefore they're often getting declined. So the collateral support program, in summary, just in brief, provides assets that we transfer to their balance sheet so they have collateral, and then we help them liquidate those receivables to turn into cash. So it turns into positive cash flow. So in summary, it, it provides the collateral on their balance sheet. It also improves their cash flow because we liquidate that. The improved cash flow helps their income statement and bank ratings. So in summary, the $10,000 credit builder loan is primarily used for clients that need the collateral support program. And yes, these are cash disbursement loans. Yes, you're paid your, um, your performance fee, your three points. All right, now this one's a little bit different. So we need to look at this one different because th these two operate almost the same. They're different amounts for different purposes. They meet all these criteria, but now we're gonna look at a much larger one. This one is typically used for clients that have high revolving utilization, like the example of the client I mentioned earlier. So their credit cards are either charged up, maxed out, or higher than they need to be. What, what you and I know is typically we wanna to try to stay below 30% revolving utilization, the lower the better, because it boosts our score and makes us look less risky. So the $100,000 revolving account is where we are putting a $100,000 trade line on their credit report, a primary trade line. And so that re reduces their high revolving utilization. Expanded use. So we, we just covered three primary uses for the 2,500, the 10,000, and the 100,000. Uh, Timothy's asking, can we do different variations? This is specifically what's been approved right now. These are the, the credit builder loans that are available literally at, at this moment. 2,500, 10,000, 100,000. There, there's not one for 50,000. There's not one for 500,000. So th this is it. So thank you, Timothy, for clarifying this, uh, clarifying that. Th these are the three increments that are available. It's standardized. Keep it simple. All right. Expanded use. And so the nonprofit micro lender will work with each borrower. And then these amounts can increase based upon the relationship. So could that $100,000 grow more? Sure. Just think about if you went and opened a Discover credit card, and let's say they give you an initial $10,000 credit limit. Well, you stay responsible with Discover. They may notify you, hey, we've doubled your credit limit. Now it's 20000 So that's the point we're trying to make here is that these amounts can go up. And again, uh, this is a revolving account. These two are cash disbursement loans. So this is more like a, 
a line of credit, if you will, these are cash disbursement loans. So let me make this a bit smaller so we can see the whole page. Font might be a little too small, but with that being said, what questions? Charles, I see you have your hand up. If any of you can go ahead and type your question, comments, concerns in. Uh, Lon asked a great question, and I think he hit the, the nail on the head, and we missed it. Yeah, so, so Lon's asking, can the credit builder loan also be used for the startup package? And the answer is yes. And, and that's probably our mistake. We should have listed it, that in there as well. So some of you know we have a startup package. The startup package is where we provide the commercial address. We file with the Secretary of State. And then we help them get their EIN and their bank account. We add primary trade lines under the EIN to build up their Paydex score and their Experian Intellis score. And then we can obviously then go help them get business funding. So we call that the startup package. The main difference between the startup package that Lon is asking about and the access to capital, access to capital, we're not providing an address. We're not providing the entity. So the startup package provides that most basic level. So if clients already have formed an entity, then we're probably just going to run with the access to capital. If they come to us and they have not yet got a commercial address, have not um, filed with Secretary of State, then the startup package would be more relevant. And Lon, you're, you're correct. We can use this for the startup package. Thank you, Lon, for asking. All right, so Jeanette's asking about the cost of the loan, and that's great. So 0% uh, interest. So what would the cost be, Jeanette? So if they're going to get a $2,500 credit builder loan, what's the cost? It's $2,500 because there's no interest. If they're getting a $10,000 credit builder loan, what's the cost? It's $10,000, right? So... Uh, yeah, it's my fault, not Jeanette's fault. I didn't make that clear enough. The revolving account, it, it's just going back to that discover example earlier. Well, how much will their payments be on the revolving account? Well, we're going to set it up and we're going to set it up initially with only 10% utilization. And so if they decide to use more of that, just like if you charge more on your Discover card, your payments go up. But uh, by default, well, I shouldn't say by default, the, the interest rate is 0% on all of them. So it, it becomes real easy to understand what the cost is. Thank you, Jeanette, for asking. My fault for not clarifying that. Who else has questions? So uh, Sarah's asking, you know, are, are we offering this as a new? offering. No, th this is primarily used for clients that are with us and we're trying to help them either you know, cover their refundable deposit or get them collateral or improve their their credit profile by lowering their high utilization. So no, th this isn't going to be a new page on the, the website. This isn't going to be um, a, a different offering. These are resources, tools, strategies that once a client has come in. Because remember, how do most clients come to us? They typically come in through the free funding proposal, right? That's what we've talked about at nauseum over the past several weeks. We ask people if they like a free funding proposal. You get their name, email, phone. Submit that on your the landing page, the, the lead capture page on your free website. We then send them the access to capital application as well as the the ability to get them funding offers now they get whatever funding offers now and at that point then we help them build out their package to get at least a hundred thousand so yeah, don't be confused by this this is not a new direct offering that we're taking out to the marketplace this is instead an illustration and in transparency in some new tools and resources we have for clients that are enrolled that are either looking to improve their, their credit profile, improve their collateral so they qualify for funding or to get their loan package built. 
uh, Mr. Brown asked about the repayment schedule, 12 months. So uh, thank you for that. And maybe that's what Jeanette was asking earlier. So the standardized repayment schedule is 12 months for, um, for these two. Uh, it doesn't work quite the same on revolving accounts, right? You can drag revolving accounts out a lot longer, just like your Discover. Does your Discover have a specific repayment term? No. But for the two term loans, that's uh, 12 months. Thank you. And I bet that thinking back, I bet that's what Jeanette was asking. So 0% 12-month term on the first two. Now, the collateral support program, you got to remember, they're getting receivables and we're helping them liquidate the receivables, right? So they're actually generating positive cash flow. So this pays for itself. They won't have to come up with money out of pocket to service that payment because the positive cash flow coming from the liquidation of the receivables should cover that. So this is going to be no economic impact to the client. This here is a refundable deposit, right? So we can get the loan package built. Normally, we can get the loan package built in 28 days and 30 days. So then at that point, they're able to, to pay this off. So this is just kind of a bridge financing that allows them to have the refundable deposit covered for the loan package without paying out of pocket. This here is buying an asset. It's like if you and I were to go out and buy a, a rental home. Well, we'd buy the rental home, but the goal is, is to rent it out and have a tenant that's paying each month so there's positive cash flow. So this will generate positive cash flow so they won't have to worry about servicing the debt. It'll, it'll pay for itself. Great questions. Who else has questions on the credit builder loans? So new resources that are available. So these are not in-house. This isn't us doing it. We're working with a third party, nonprofit, micro lender. They're set up. They're ready to go. If a client, the, the arrangement we have with them though, just so you know, is if a client is wanting any one of these three, then we send the document packet over to them. It's a simplified application, one pager. They fill that out and then uh, it's countersigned by the nonprofit. Then it's funded. Uh, this is funding in 24 hours. This is funding in 24 hours. This is a little bit different because it's a revolving account, but both of the cash disbursement loans are funding in one business day. All right, great questions. Anyone else have any questions on, on how this would help? Uh, Lon's asking about requesting the application. So what I would say is if we have a client that is already in the system will be bringing these resources up naturally or organically just as we're working with them. But certainly uh, you as a small business consultant could ask the client to schedule with us via Calendly, and then we could go ahead and focus on that topic right away. Uh, you could certainly email us. Uh, you, you could call, but our phones get a little backed up. But I would recommend emailing. If, if you just, if, if you're already with us or you just simply need the app for yourself, let us know which of the email us and let us know which of the apps you need. But again, for your clients that are with us, I think it should be a, a bit more seamless. And so what they should be doing is, is scheduling a call with us via Calendly. We'll review their file. And now that we have these credit builder loans available, we will automatically be reviewing their file to see if this is something that would help them. This one here is huge. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people, may not be you, but promise me, they're, they're, I promise you, I should say, there's a lot of people out there that have used a lot of their credit card balances. And that really makes them look riskier, that limits their access to capital, that lowers their score. So by adding a big revolving account to dilute that, that is powerful, powerful. All right, so again, Alon's question was, how does he request an application? I guess the short answer is to email us, but if it's a client, if it's not you, it's a client, really what we should do is get them back scheduled on a call with Calendly, review where we're at with their entire file, and then we can determine if any of these three credit builder loans would be of help to them. 
All right. Well, we covered a lot. Uh, I'm excited. This has been forthcoming for, for quite some time. Once we secured the relationship with the micro lender, then we had announced that a, a couple of weeks ago, but then we actually had to get the, what you'd say, the, the, the loan programs assembled, the applications created, and uh, they are good to go as of this morning, as of June 21st. So thanks, everyone. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you, and we'll see you back tomorrow morning. Have a good day.